Hello everyone, Fed here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. In this video, I'm going to be showing you 10 builds using the Ender Dragon Heads, because if you did not know, we got our new update yesterday, and it brought Ender Dragon Heads, and I can't wait to show you the builds that I made, guys. So here is all 10 of the builds, Now I'm going to be working from the left-hand side over to the right. I guess I can go through them first, and then I'll put timestamps for them, but the last one over there is definitely the hardest one to build so the first one right over here if you did not know as you can see one ender dragon head is bigger than the other that's because this one is on top of an armor stand so if you actually push the arm uh, block into the armor stand you won't be able to see it so if you want to maybe put like a ender dragon head on top of a table but you want it to look a little bit more bolstering a little bit bigger than just placing it on there you can easily just set it into an armor stand Second up on the list, if you did not know, if you send power to an Ender Dragon head, it will actually make it move. And I actually have a really cool idea for this one. I have a really, really cool idea for this one. I can't wait to show you guys in the video in the future. I think you're absolutely going to love it. But if you did not know, if you send power to it, it will make it move. Third up, if you turn it around and put it into the wall, you can kind of make it look like a computer. It kind of looks like maybe even a... To it actually kind of looks like a toaster in a way, too. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> However, if your bread was gray, which... I probably wouldn't eat that because that's probably moldy bread. So it can look like a computer. It can actually look like a TV too. It can look like an old-fashioned TV with little antennas. Or maybe if you put it on... You know what? Actually, I'm going to try that. Uh, let's go ahead and take out iron bars. And we'll take out our dragon head and go boop like that. And if we actually put it backwards, it might look like a uh, speaker. So boop like that. And yeah, kind of looks like a speaker or maybe even a camera. That's pretty cool. So there we go. And then uh, fourth, is that the one, two, three? Yeah, fourth up on the list is a dragon armor. What I did was I pushed in a one of the dragon heads on top of an armor stand behind it. And it kind of looks like, ar like an armor head for it. So I thought that looked pretty cool. So there is some dragon armor. Then fifth up on the list is going to be the Luchador Ender Dragon. And I absolutely love this thing. <laughs> the Luchador Ender Dragon. Then sixth up on the list, we have a cool little plaque. So after you know kill the Ender Dragon, maybe you want to hang it over your fireplace or over your bed to show, hey, look, I killed the Ender Dragon. So you could easily make an awesome little plaque for it. And then seventh up on the list is an Ender Dragon rug. So instead of a bear skin rug, we pretty much, I guess, a leather skin rug. <laughs> an Ender Dragon leather skin rug eighth up on the list if you did not know which i didn't know at all too if you actually push an armor stand with water it will actually make the ender dragon head talk <laughs> as you can see it's opening its mouth and closing its mouth so if you move an armor stand with an ender dragon head on top of it it will actually move the mouth of it so if you do set up some water maybe go around in a circle it's pretty cool uh this i wouldn't maybe make it only do this Ninth up on the list, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to like this one. I absolutely love it. And that is an Ender Dragon Cannon. So when we flip up this lever, it will shoot out fire charges, and the mouth will open and close. I absolutely think this one is really, really sweet. And I'm sure a lot of you guys will like that one as well. Let me go ahead and turn it off, because that is extreme. Well, let's do it one more time. All right, all right, all right. Let's turn it off. <laughs> So that one's a really cool one. I absolutely love that one. And then last but not least is our Ender Dragon bench set. Because who doesn't want to lift some Ender Dragon heads? And of course, if we turn these on right here, boop, we can make the mounts move while we're lifting our weights. Now for this one too, you don't have to use the Dragon heads. If you want maybe just a bench set in your uh, house, all you have to do is, you know, just remove these. And then go ahead and take out some trap doors. Because if you did not know, they made it so trap doors don't have to be placed on blocks anymore. Which is really, really cool. As you can see, look, I could just place a trap door right here without having to have a block right next to it. And that is amazing. I absolutely love it. So if you just place that there, boop, like that. And then boop, like that. It kind of just looks like weights. So if you want to, you could just put trap doors there. And it will look like weights on it instead of the dragon heads. But... The dragon heads just look so much cooler. Who doesn't want to be lifting dragon heads? So let's go ahead and start building these guys. I should have put timestamps on each one of them. Some of them absolutely don't need a tutorial. But we're going to go ahead and start from the left-hand side and work our way to the right. All right, guys. So the first one's really simple. All you're going to need is a dragon head. We are also going to need an armor stand. I'm actually probably going to have to break these because there's a limit to how many armor stands. So I'm just going to go ahead and break this one right here. Uh, we're also going to need at least a slab. So take out a slab. It doesn't really matter. You won't be able to see it anymore. The block that you want your head to be on top of. So let's go ahead and just grab out some dark oak planks, I guess. And we're going to need a piston. And we're also going to need a power source. So take out a block of redstone. So normally when you place down a head on there, it is this big. However, if you want to make it just a tiny bit bigger, all you have to do is break down a block, place in a slab, place in your armor stand, place your dragon head on top of your armor stand, and now just push a block into that armor stand. So bring your blocks right above your armor stand like so. Then we're going to place a piston facing downwards into that block, 
just send power to it boop and then do it one more time place a block in send power to it go ahead and break that break that break that and there you guys have it it looks a tiny bit bigger now if you use a staircase instead of a full block it will stay the same color as this one so you know i just place in a staircase if you want it to remain the same color as that one so that is going to be the first tutorial now for the second one obviously we can kind of just like skip through this one because it's just a power source you just got to send power to it so if i put a redstone block down with that on top of it as you can see it'll move the head <laughs> That kind of looks really, really creepy. <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that. And I actually showed you the third one already. All you have to do is just place down a block, placing your head backwards on it, and boop, there you have it. So if you want, oh, you know what? Actually, I didn't try this. This would actually look pretty cool. Uh, you could put it in the corner, in the corner of your room. That might look really, really good. So if we go like that and maybe take out a iron bar, let's go take out an iron bar, place it like that, and then place it in the corner like this. Let's see how that looks. Uh, I kind of want it more even. There we go. Perfect. Yeah, look at that. It kind of looks like a speaker in the corner or maybe a camera or maybe like one of those old boxy TVs. And wow, <laughs> I just made a pentagon shape. I just made a pentagon shape inside of Minecraft. So there is a, the third one. Next up, we have our dragon armor. This one's going to be a little bit harder. We're actually going to need a tutorial for this one. So what you want to start off by doing is finding out where your wall is. So let's say this is my wall right here like that. This is going to be my wall. So what you want to do first is break out your wall just a little bit. And then place in an armor stand with your dragon head. Now, as you can see, your dragon head's kind of poking out through the wall. You know what? Let's just make it a little bit easier on ourselves. Place a block right above your armor stand like that. Then place in your piston facing downwards. And then all we're going to have to do is just send power to our piston like so. So what you want to do is push the dragon head just a tiny bit into the wall so you can no longer see it. All you want to see is the mouth portion of your head. So to do that, all you have to do is just take out some power rails, a mine cart, then place in a power rail right here. Place a power rail right here. Place it in your minecart and then just push it a little bit until the head is fully in the wall. So like that, just push it a little bit. Don't push it too hard. You don't want it to go too far into the wall. Let's just keep pushing it little by little. There we go. Okay. So yeah, that's actually perfect. Look how close I got that. That is absolutely perfect. That is exactly what we want. So now you can go ahead and break that. Go ahead and break the rail. Make sure you don't break the armor stand. Or you're going to have to redo the entire thing. And then now we can go ahead and hide the rest of this armor stand by placing in a block above it once again. Not an armor stand. <laughs> We're going to place a block in once again. And then place in a piston facing downwards into that block. Pushing it into our armor stand. So boop. Like that. There we go. Perfect. And then all we have to do is place in one more block. And that will hide it up completely. Now what we're going to do is place in an armor stand right here. Then we're going to go ahead and take out a piston. Place a piston right here. And then send power to our piston. And then break the piston like so. Next up, go ahead and take out a Steve head. So we're going to need a Steve head. You can use any head you really want to. But I think the Steve head looks the best. So there's our Steve head. And now what I did was I took out some leather armor. And then I also took out purple dye. So purple dye. And we're also going to need some black dye. And what I did was I went ahead and I did purple dye first on everything. And then I did black dye on everything. And then I made the chest a little bit darker. I made the boots a little bit darker. And then I went ahead. Oh, you know, I think I did one more on the purple too like that. There we go. Yeah. So now we're going to go and place this in. And there is our awesome looking dragon armor. And now if you want to, you can also take out some blocks. Place a block here. Place a block here. Take out a wither skeleton skull. Place a wither skeleton skull facing this way. A uh, wither skeleton skull facing this way. And then go ahead and take out some end rods, which is another new thing we just got. And place them underneath your wither skeleton skull like so and uh let's go ahead and fix up the rest of this wall and you know i wasn't even thinking you could place in some banners too if you place some banners in, that would look pretty cool too you know let's go ahead and do that real quick so let's see let's take out some i want purple banners so let's try purple banners and do 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 do, do. let's take oh you know it'd be a cool idea take out some skeleton skulls and then we can also take out some uh black uh black dye uh where is it ink sacks take out some ink sacks there we go and now what we're gonna do is place down a crafting bench this actually seems like a really really cool idea let's go down to our banners so we're going to select a purple banner then we're going to go over here and we're going to choose where is it there it is the skull so we want the black one where is it oh you, you need wither skeleton skulls i thought you need skeleton skulls take out wither skeleton skulls sorry guys about that and then we're going to go over here select our banner then go over here and now we're going to choose this one oh you don't even need black look at that so we're going to go ahead and add one of these and there we go so now we go to place these here and place this here and yeah there we go that looks awesome that looks really cool. So there's the dragon armor. I think that looks really, really sick. Next up is going to be our luchador dragon head. So again, we're going to have to take out an armor stand. We are also going to need our dragon head. We are also going to need a trap doors for this one. So go ahead and take out some trap doors. And we're also going to need some snow. So where is the snow? I always lose where everything is in this game. I'm pretty sure it's right here. There it is. So we're going to need snow. 
We're going to need a piston, not a sticky piston. You're going to need a regular piston. We're also going to need a block of redstone. We just need a power source for our build. We're going to need some paintings and do, 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 uh, staircases. We're also going to need staircases. So I'm going to use the purple blocks. I really love that name, the purple blocks. So once you figure out where you want your luchador dragon head to go, all you have to do is just break down a block and place in six pieces of snow. Six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Make sure you place in exactly six. Place in your armor stand and then place in your dragon head like so. Now we're going to go ahead and take out our purple block staircase and we're going to place it right above this backwards. So let's go ahead and bring a few blocks up like this. There we go. And then place it in backwards, upside down like that. And now what we're going to do is push that all the way down until we reach there. So what I want you to do is place in a trap door above your purple block. And then above your trap door is where we're going to place our piston facing downwards. So right above the trap door, we're going to place our piston facing downwards like that. And it's going to send power to it. Boop. And it's going to push it down. And then we're going to place in another block right here and then just send power to it, Boop. pushing it down, break all of this, break that block right there. And now it's in place. So now all we have to do is just place in another trap door right here in front of it and close it. So that's going to be the mask of our luchador dragon. Then on this side. So if you want to put it in the middle of the room, you absolutely can. But the staircase kind of looks bad. So I put it on a wall. So then on this side, we're going to go ahead and place in a painting. You can choose whatever paintings you like, but I like this one the most, the green, black, and that yellow, because it has that luchador feeling. Then on this side, place a painting here first and then try for the same exact paint. Oh, wow. That was super lucky. That was super duper lucky. <laughs> then next up, go ahead and take out a carpet color of your choice. I'm just going to use some black carpet. So I'm going to go ahead and just get rid of all this real quick. We're going to take out some black carpet. And then I'm also going to take out my walling block of choice. And I'm going to take out some more purple blocks as well. So I'm going to place two more purple blocks on this side, this side. Place in my back walling. So boop, 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 boop. And then we're going to go ahead and place a carpet right here to hide the top. And there you guys have it. There is the Luchador Dragon. All right, guys. Next up, we're going to go ahead and make the plaque on the wall. So let's go ahead and find our walling block first. So I'm going to go ahead and just use blue because that's what I always do. And then we're also going to need some oak stairs and oak slabs. And then for the color in the middle, you can use whatever color you like. But I'm going to go ahead and use red hardened color clay but you can use any color you like so first off we're gonna go ahead and build our wall it has to be at least three wide i'm gonna make it go really high this time i feel like that's too close to the floor right there so i'm gonna make it go really high this time and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by placing in our middle block first and then we're gonna place three slabs right along the top of it one two and three place in a staircase here upside down place in a staircase here upside down and place one more slab underneath it next up take out your dragon head place your dragon head right in the middle and there you guys go there is the plaque. So if you wanted to go ahead and maybe put in a fireplace underneath it, or maybe you want your bed underneath it, but you can do whatever you like, or even just a bookshelf underneath it will look absolutely fine as well. Next up, we're going to be doing our dragon skin rug. So for this one, we're going to need yet again, another dragon head. We're going to need a armor stand. We're going to need some black carpet, and you can also use purple carpet too. That would look pretty cool if you maybe added some wings to it. And we're also going to need, of course, a piston, and we're going to need a block of redstone and a slab so where is my slabs bup, bup, bup. it doesn't really matter what slab you use you won't be able to see it so first off we're going to figure out where we want our head of our dragon to go and we're just going to dig down two blocks one two and we're going to place in a slab then on top of that slab we're going to place in our armor stand place in our dragon head like that then what we're going to do is just break the block next to it then place a piston facing towards your dragon head and then just send power to it boop like that and that will push everything into place. Then, of course, clean up your floor with whatever color you're using. I'm just going to fill in the rest with my ant site. And then take out your black carpet and go ahead and just place it in. So we're going to place one here, 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 do, do, and do. And there is our dragon skin rug. Next up is going to be the little dragon head that moves back and forth and talks to you using water. And let me go ahead and get rid of this. It's kind of annoying listening to it go back and forth the entire time. But what can you do? Okay. So starting off with this tutorial, we're going to need a dispenser. We're going to need redstone. We're going to need tripwire hooks. We're also going to need string. We're going to need a glass block. We're also going to need any block color of choice. I'm going to be using quartz. And we're going to need a, a dragon head, armor stands, and two buckets of water. So armor stands, and we're also going to need two buckets of water. So starting off with it, we're going to place in our dispenser. And then we're going to go inside our dispenser and place in our water bucket. And then we're going to count over eight blocks from this dispenser. So place in a glass block first. So one. Then two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then on the eighth one, place in a glass block again. And then just do the same thing over here. Just place in a glass block, place it all in, place in your glass block like that. And then on this side, we're going to place in our dispenser, take out a water bucket and place it inside that dispenser Boop, like that. 
Then we're going to take out some redstone and place redstone going all the way around like so. Then above the redstone next to our glass block, we're going to place in a block right here. A block right here. And then place in your tripwire hooks with your string attached to them. And do the same thing on this side. So block, block, tripwire hook, tripwire hook, string. And now send power to one of these dispensers. Really doesn't matter which one you choose. Just go ahead and send power to it. So take out a redstone block and just send power to one of them. So bloop like that. Perfect. Next up, what you want to do is just place in your armor stand on any one of these blocks. Really doesn't matter. So I'm just going to place a block right here. Place in my armor stand. And now what it's going to do is drift all the way over here. Hit that. And then go back the other way. Now all we have to do is just place in our dragon head. Boop. And now it's going to talk to us. <laughs> so as you can see, his mouth is opening and closing. And then now all you have to do is just clean it up. So, you know, place some blocks here. What I did on this side was I placed some blocks up like that and like that. So we don't have to see the dispensers or the tripwire hooks. Boop, 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 boop. And you can also add in a wall on this side as well. But there you guys have it. Next up, we have our dragon cannon. So we go bloop. It'll shoot our flame charges all over the place. So let's go ahead and turn that off and go ahead and build this thing. This thing is actually super duper easy to build. So for this build, we're going to need yet again a dispenser. We're going to need a redstone comparator. Redstone. We're also going to need, of course, a, a dragon head. A lever. We are also going to need a bunch of flame chargers. Get as many flame chargers as possible. Just fill up your entire dispenser with as many flame chargers as possible. And then I highly recommend using something that doesn't burn. So we're going to go ahead and quickly take out some stone brick as well so to start things off with our build just place in our stone brick then we're going to place a dispenser right above it then right in front of our dispenser go into sneak mode and or crouch mode i still have the dragon head on and place it right in front of your dispenser next up what we're going to do is go inside of our dispenser and we're going to place in our fire charges we chose like i said fill up the entire dispenser with as many fire charges as possible the more the better you could next up behind our dispenser we're going to go ahead and place in a block Place our redstone comparator coming out of our dispenser and then go ahead and set it to subtraction mode by left clicking it to boop as you can see that little front part should come on next up what we're going to do is place a block in front of it place two blocks from it boop boop and place two pieces of redstone going back into it and as you can see this will start pulsing really really fast then on the right hand side of our comparator we're going to place in yet again another block here with redstone on this side place in a lever and flip it down this will turn it off so see off on off and then on so right now we want it off next up we're going to place blocks right next to our dispenser with redstone on top of it go into sneak mode or crouch mode again and place in redstone right above your dispenser and that's it guys you are completely done so boop ba -ba 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 -ba. and it'll shoot your cannon and then turn it off with the lever like i said fill it in with as many fire charges as possible so if you really want to too you can go ahead and take out a compare uh, a hopper place a hopper off the side of it then all you have to do is just take out a chest do, 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 do. let's take out a chest go right on top of it and place in a chest right here boop and boop like that and then go ahead and just take out your fire charges and just place in as many fire charges as you want inside of this chest it will hold all of your fire charges like that and it will funnel into it however since our our hoppers right here we're actually gonna have to move our lever so just take your lever and move it over here to the right hand side flip it down break it here and as you can see it'll start funneling into our dispenser right here so now you can have way 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 more fire charges in there so as you can see it's funneling in there because it's coming out of the chest into there and you can keep making it go up and up and up so you can have like an infinite amount of fire charges inside of this thing all right guys and last but not least is going to be our ender dragon bench set and yeah <laughs> i couldn't put the heads back on because after i broke them off i would have to remove everything and put it back together so you saw it at the beginning though so we're gonna go ahead and start this thing this thing is absolutely definitely the hardest one to build so i'm actually gonna have to remove all of these armor stands because i'm pretty sure i probably won't have enough armor stands to build this thing so, all right guys so telling you now this thing is without a doubt the most tedious one super super tedious so to start things off what we're gonna do is break out a two by three spacing so they got a two by three spacing so as you see there's a two by three spacing and then we're going to place in cobblestone walls on the left hand side next up what i want you to do is place an armor stand facing inwards on this side an armor stand facing inwards on this side and then place in wither skeleton skulls on top of them next up place in a cobblestone wall between them take out your piston and place a piston facing inwards towards this one make sure it's facing inwards like that and same thing on this side inwards towards this one now send power to these pistons. So just break out this block, place a redstone block, redstone block, just like that. And then go ahead and break these pistons. Boop and boop. And now what we're going to do is place a piston back here, a piston back here. And now send power to these pistons. So boop, like that. 
send power to this one, boop, like that, and then go ahead and break the pistons. Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and break that cobblestone wall in between them. So break that cobblestone wall that's right in between these two armor stands, so boop, like that, and break it. Now what we're gonna do is pretty much come right above these two armor stands, come right above them with a block like this, place in yet again another armor stand, trust me, very tedious, and place in your wither skeleton skull on top of it. Then we're gonna place in a cobblestone wall next to it, a block of redstone to the right-hand side of it, and then send power to it with a piston like that. Break the piston. Now what we're gonna do is let this fall into place, and then we're gonna send power to all three of them, pushing them all together. So we're gonna go ahead and break all these blocks right here, one, two, and three, letting it fall into place. And now what we're gonna do is place in three pistons here yet again. Like I said, very, very annoying. I know it is. <laughs> we're gonna place in three again right here, and we're gonna send power to all of them, making sure they're all right next to each other in that perfect order. Go ahead and break every single one of these pistons. Now we're gonna have to place in just one more, guys. Just one more for the seating, and then the seating will be done. Seating's the, uh, the most annoying part of this whole build. So right here, we're gonna place in just one more. So we're gonna come up with a block right above it, like we did with the middle one. Come up with a block right above it like this. There we go. Place a cobblestone wall right here to the left-hand side of it. Redstone block to this side. Place in an armor stand. Place in your weather skeleton skull. And then send a piston towards it, boop, like that. And then just break the block, letting it fall into place. And there you guys have it. There is the seating completely done. So now all we have to do is just take out some slabs. So take out slabs. Where are they? Ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, where are you, slabs? There we go. It doesn't really matter which one you use. You won't be able to see it. We're going to break out the blocks underneath all our armor stands, placing in slabs. And then we're going to break out all the blocks underneath our cobblestone walls. So boop, 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 letting them all fall into place. Now what we're going to do is, like I said, use the color of your flooring. I'm just going to go ahead and use a dark oak planks for my flooring. So I'm going to place in some dark oak planks around this entire thing. This is going to be my flooring of choice. So do, 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 just like that. And now leaving the cobblestone walls there, make sure you leave these cobblestone walls here. We're going to push these blocks into these ones. So break out this row right here, place in pistons. I'm going to send power to these pistons. So boop. Like that. And now we can go ahead and place in our flooring blocks here as well. And we no longer need the pistons here. And now for the cobblestone walls, break your cobblestone walls. Do not break the armor stands because that is that part's so annoying, guys. This part is so, so annoying. So make sure you don't break it. Place blocks right above the armor stands. And we're going to have to push these blocks down into these armor stands. So come right above it. Place in your pistons. So one, two, three like that. Send power to it. Boop. And then we're going to do that one more time. Send power to it. Boop. Like that. And now break all three of these blocks. And there you guys have it. That is going to be the seating for our bench. And trust me, guys, that was the hardest part of the build. Trust me, that part was absolutely the hardest part of this entire build. Now we can go ahead and swiftly get through the rest of this. So what I want you to do is place two blocks right above this back armor stand right here. So one, two. Then we're going to go ahead and take out our dragon heads. So let me go ahead and just use the one I'm wearing. Place a dragon head here like that. Place a dragon head right here like that. There we go. Next up, what we're going to do is now place in our armor stands that are going to be holding up our weights. So what we're going to do is come up a block right above it like this. You can use any block. It really doesn't matter. And we're going to boop, boop like that. Now on this side, we're going to place in an armor stand facing inwards. Make sure it's straight. Make sure it is as straight as possible. On PC, you're going to be absolutely fine. But on console, you're going to have to keep breaking it until you get the straightest one possible. Just keep doing it until you get it going. There we go. That's the one you want. You want it to be nice and even all around the board. Next up, what you're gonna do is place in a block on this side and a block right above the dragon head as well. Now we're gonna place a piston facing inwards, send power to it, break the piston, and then we're gonna place in one more piston over here, pushing the armor stand into place. And that's what we want. Now we can go ahead and break the block right underneath it, letting it fall into place. And now we're gonna to have to do that one more time, guys. We're gonna to have to do that one more time. Now, instead of being right here at this level, we're gonna to have to go up one more level because that armor stand's going to be in the way. So place two blocks here place a block up right above it, place a block off the backhand side, and now you're going to have to try to get the straightest armor stand as possible, so just keep doing it until you get a good one, look at that, look at that, that's perfect, perfect, so now we're going to place our piston over here, send power to it, break the piston, same thing over here, place a piston on this side, and it will send power to it, pushing it into place, break the piston, and now just let it fall into place, and now last but not least, what we're going to have to do is take out our end rods, so place the block right above your ender dragon head, we no longer need all these blocks, and now go ahead and take out some end rods. So boo, 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 take out your end rods. There they are. Place an end rod right here. And then place another end rod right off the side of it like that. Place pistons facing into those end rods. So one here, one here. And then just go ahead and send power to your pistons, pushing everything 
into place. And there you guys have it. You are completely done. You have built this awesome looking bench. And like I said, if you don't want to use the dragon heads, you can easily just use a trap door. But just giving you a heads up, if you do remove the dragon heads, then you're going to have to get rid of these armor stands, place the blocks back in, and it's going to be super, super annoying. So if we go ahead and just take out some levers and go like that and like that, we can also have them talk while we're benching. But there you guys have that. It's all 10 Ender Dragon Head builds. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, guys. And also subscribe to stay tuned with my newest videos. All right, guys. Peace.